guys, today we are unboxing Instant Pot's new multi cooker. Oh, we're well, having a whole lot of fun. It's my Chewbacca impression. You're making lots of noise today. It's my other Chewbacca impression. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen. Yes. Oh, do we got some stuff to do. Yes. Our kitchen is working full time right now to cook up all kinds of holiday goodness. It's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, we call these marathons. <laughs> if you want to know a little more about how we do things, so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of times we'll cook two or three episodes um, mm -hmm. in, a, in a day, and then that gives, you know, a, a week or and a half or so, or sometimes we might do four episodes on a week, and then that gets us a couple weeks in and everything. We're getting ready to cook over the next three days two months worth of content so that we can get holiday dishes up for everybody. Some of the stuff that's been really popular on the blog but has never been taped before, like, oh no turkey mm -hmm. and stuffing mm -hmm. and green beans all kinds of stuff it's gonna be smelling real good in this house yes and we're gonna have a very happy fire department yes because a lot of you always ask us what do we do when we have tons and tons of food so when we are cooking like that and we just have more than a family can possibly handle we take it to our local fire department and they so seem they to be can, pretty happy they seem to be enjoying it so um so that's what that's what is on the agenda over the next several days here in um our uh in chris's kitchen mm -hmm. so to speak we'll be cooking lots of her dishes that's for <laughs> yeah sure. so we just know from since from last year whenever we were trying to keep up with everything and the holidays that it became really really difficult so we're gonna try to push through and make sure that you have cooking chris's dishes from now until christmas you can do it you can do it so we're, we're working on it yep yep but with all that said, let's shift gears and do a little bit of an update about some of our Crock Posse members. Um, we got a lovely picture from Debbie. You might remember Debbie won our last giveaway, which was an apron and mini crock. And she sent us this lovely picture of her enjoying her prizes. So congrats, Debbie. And thank you, thank you for sending us your picture. We also have a couple pictures from proud members of Miss Ad Sticker Club. We got um, a picture from Petra and a picture from Claudia showing where they were sticking their, um, their pot, stickers. pot stickers. Were they both pot stickers? I think so. And so um, I thought we might read some fun stuff. I'll let you read what Claudia shared with us. All right. Claudia says, I put my crock posse pot sticker on my instant pot. I'm planning on upgrading my crock pot and didn't want to lose the sticker. <laughs> Today at work, we're having a Halloween potluck, so of course I had to make the instant pot Mississippi chicken, complete with singing the song in my head. There you go. <laughs> and then Petra said, this is a photo of my best friend, my iPad. That's the thing where I watch everything you post, so that's the perfect spot to put the small sticker on, the one that we're dubbing the pot sticker. Mm -hmm. Um, the bigger one's going on, going to go on her crock pot, of course, because she doesn't have a car. <laughs> That'd be good because so, it'd be hard to stick it on yes. a bumper. <laughs> so if you are interested in joining Miss Ad Sticker Club, um, that is over, it's a part of our Patreon program, and so you can check that out over on Patreon. Um, and also, we also wanted to do a giveaway for all of our Crock Posse members of a handful of more pot stickers that say that you are a proud member of the Crock Posse. And so if you want to enter to win one of these lovely babies, put yourself a comment down below. What is your favorite holiday food? Yes. It could be Christmas food. And it doesn't have to be slow cooker. It could be Thanksgiving food. Yes. It could be... Uh, 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 Valentine's Day food. <laughs> okay, so just leave a comment down below and tell us what your favorite holiday food is, and we will randomly select five folks, and Mikey will reach out to you um, if you have 
randomly uh, been selected mm -hmm. and ask you for your address for us to ship you a pop sticker. Very well. Yes, and this is open to anyone. So these are things that we can actually mail outside of the United States. So, Anywhere. So, so if you live in Antarctica, well, cool. <laughs> and we'll ship you a pot sticker. Yes. So go ahead and just comment down below to be entered. Cool. Um, in other update news, we have, um, I just, w no, we're not ready for that yet. Yeah, but it doesn't mean instant pot. We're talking about Insta, which is short for Instagram. Oh. He was reading our uh, cue card. And got, we got distracted. I was excited. There's so many Instas going on. And in other news, we just want to make sure that you have joined us over on Instagram. We are having fun over there sharing with you all kinds of yummy recipes. Pretty pictures. Yeah, yeah, pretty pictures of our traveling. And then also, of course, the cute, the adorable Mr. Octavius, our little 10-pound Yorkie puppy. He's right here somewhere. Okay. Yes. You always hear him. He's like... There he is. There's our buddy right here. Oh, he's oh, going to pull him up here. Goodness oh. Christ, he's like, hey, I he's wasn't. He's our low camera poop. He's like, I'm not camera ready today. <laughs> I don't have my makeup on. I know, everybody. <laughs> Go, so, boy. You always hear him tapping around in the background. So if you want to see a little bit more of him, you can definitely check it out because we've got him over on Instagram mm -hmm. and people are enjoying checking yep. him out there. So, um, but with that, could you tell us a little bit about Aunt Lou's Friday favorites this week? comfort foods yeah now that uh, that's just a favor for anybody but oh my goodness we've got some great comfort foods on the site and my favorite is steak and gravy y'all remember from the video that we did on that that's one of them why didn't i get to eat that videos that yeah. aunt lou came up with and it's just good steak with gravy and then you put that with some mashed taters and maybe some corn yeah and some dinner rolls and some green beans and <laughs> i'm nudging my wife saying, hey can we have that for dinner? well you're uh, we're, we've got plenty of cooking right now so we don't no we can't have that for dinner because we're going to have other things okay but, <laughs> but when you start talking comfort food one of my favorite comfort foods on the site is definitely angel chicken i have loved that recipe since the beginning since I've ever since I first tried it and we have it all the time mm -hmm. it is so so good it's good over pasta it's good over veggies it's good over rice it's just good on its own so um, angel chicken is an easy one that I like to tell people it's definitely try you know who's related to the angel chicken who General so <laughs> I know y'all have missed him. Uh, I just had to bring him back for one show. Oh my. Sorry. Oh boy. <laughs> What's a reader favorite from the comfort the foods? The reader favorite comfort food has to be the homestyle pork chops. Now see, that is a very good one. I remember working out on the redneck party deck and Chrissy came out there with a big old plate of something and said, Mikey, Mikey, look what I just made. And I had one bite and I was hooked. So, yeah. kudos Something to Something we get from people a lot is that they struggle with pork chops in the slow cooker. Like, they dry it out, and they're like, you, they just don't enjoy it. And I'm like, look, this, there are several recipes on the site that will totally change your mind, mm -hmm. but this is one of them. <laughs> like, it is fork tender. It is so good. It has amazing gravy. Mm -hmm. Like, comfort food to a T. Yes. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I just feel like being comforted Aww, with lots of good food. Hey, while I'm being comforted, how about we do some reader emails? Reader emails! Okay, so now it's story time. I love story time. Does it start with Once Upon a Time? <laughs> Does it have a happy ending? <laughs> yes, a very. Well, I hope so. So, uh, I was, um, we had a crock pot emergency this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I was at, I had to go to Walmart to get some ingredients for something because I needed to make something for a project I was working on and it needed to happen immediately. And so while I was there, my little phone did a little ping that we had gotten a comment and just by chance I glanced down in the middle of, you know, looking at my shopping list and everything and it just was, it was destiny saying, 
Well, yeah, I thought it was Lynn. It was Lynn, but it was like destiny as in the world saying, oh, okay. you need to see this message because you are at Walmart right now. And this is um, from Lynn. And Lynn said, ha this is from last week's show. Had a good time as usual. Did you know that Instant Pot now has a multi-cooker? I saw it at Walmart and it was reasonably priced. I literally took my cart and went, and went over to It would not surprise me that you actually squall tires <laughs> in the middle of a Walmart. So I went and I immediately went to the aisle and I found it and I was like, oh my goodness. Now my Walmart had this price at $79 and in the multi-cooker world, that is very reasonable, reasonably priced. Now let's talk for just a second about what the di now this is going to get really confusing because we also heard that crock pot came out with an electric pressure cooker oh they're just messing with yes. our heads now okay so up until this point everybody has been like when you use the term crock pot you know that's also that's a brand name but people also generically use it to mean any kind of slow cooker the same is true for instant pot People have always used the term instant pot to generically refer to an electric pressure cooker. So an electric pressure cooker is much different. It cooks fast. It has a slow cooker feature, but we all know that I don't like it. So, so he, this is taking a little bit of a chance here because instant pot has actually come out with a multi cooker, which is primary function is slow cooking, not pressure cooking. Hopefully you tracked me on all that because that's, feels confusing. So now, when you hear people say Instant Pot, they probably still mean electric pressure cooker. And when you hear people say Crock Pot, they probably still mean slow cooker. But now there's an Instant Pot Crock Pot and a Crock Pot Instant Pot. Holy moly, mind explodes. <laughs> My brain is fried already. <laughs> Can we unbox this thing? Yes. Okay, but no, 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 no. It's like Christmas around here. <laughs> so, just to, one of the things that I thought was really interesting when I saw this um, was one of the features, let me see if I can find it. Where, where is it? Okay. There's the features right here. Yeah, but it's more than that. I saw something on it that I thought people were really going to be interested in. Easy. <laughs> Hang on. That's one of my favorite features. What does it say? Oh, no, it's on the front. Okay. Okay, well, we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, so when you look at the outside of the box, it says an 8-in-1 multi-slow cooker. Okay? So this is, it's got a sear and saute, which is your browning feature. Mm -hmm. It's got a stew feature, which is interesting. I don't know what that means besides, like, I don't know how that would be different. But it's got a slow cook feature. And fingers crossed, it's better than the one in the pressure cooker in yeah. Pot. It's got a baking feature, which we really like on our Ninja. Mm -hmm. um, it Now, that will bake faster than, like, baking something in a slow mm -hmm. cooker. It's got a steam and a roast feature, a rice feature, and a keep warm feature, it says. And I also saw something else on the outside panel. Guys, it mentioned, it shows that it has a delay start. That is like huge for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So let's get going. There's the manual that you know mm -hmm. I won't read. Well, you keep that for me because I will. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, you know how picky I am about my lids. Yep, let's check out. I'm not, um, uh, now, it's not that it won't do great. It's just, it says it's a dishwasher friendly lid, but it's got the screws with the plate here. So if you stick this in the dishwasher, what's going to happen Chunks. is food and disgusting stuff will possibly get underneath that lid so i usually any kind of lid like this i hand wash yep, yep. even if it says dishwash so but i'm a really i'm really picky about lids so don't let that deter you um okay um we're gonna make a lot of noise here right off the bat We've been making a lot of noise for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Just pull it out. 
There you go. All right. Box is gone. Oh, is that the dog? No, he's in there. Interesting. Hmm. Still don't know what I think about these. Yeah, well, it's, well, it's not meant to... Oh, but it's silicone. I, I know, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, we need to get more in shearing mode and less than... Okay. You get a handy-dandy little measuring cup with it. Yes, I've got like 20 of those <laughs> for all kinds of stuff. Okay. 15 of these. So, do you need to zoom out a little bit so they can see this? Mm -hmm. That's as far as it zooms. Okay. So, first things first, this pot, it looks like has silicone handles to it. Now, what Mikey was mentioning is that some of our some of our pots can actually go into the oven, like for the broiler and that kind of thing. And so, we'd have to see if this is oven safe. They may or may not. Um, Non-slip silicone grip handles, ceramic non-stick interior stovetop, and oven safe! There you go! We got a winner! Yes, and so that is one of the things that we... Um, we look for that's one of the things we like about the ninja so that you can pop things under the broiler to kind of crisp mm -hmm. up some things if you want to after slow cooking so that's cool um this is a very interesting um non-stick coating it's different than all of our others it's shiny it said ceramic it said non-stick ceramic interior Okay, so I don't know how prone to scratching this will or will not be. We'll have to see. We'll keep you updated on yeah, that. Yeah, but so far so good. I like the shape. It's a nice kind of shape. One of the really cool things about, I always call these, they're multi-cookers, but I usually call them browning slow cookers, is that this is a good compromise for um, people who are interested in the casserole crock but also want that browning feature because this gives you a nice big rectangle for um, a lot of the things that you would like to do for the um, casserole crop too. So, so that's this. Um, that's, no, they can oh, see. Oh, I was like, that's not how that goes. It has a rack for me. We usually don't use the rack a whole lot yeah, in ours. Not really a need. No. But one of the reasons why we wanted to um, unbox this right now is because we've got a bunch of other food things to tape later today so I think Mikey's wanting to give this a go mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and so but like I said can I see the user manual one of the things I think most people are going to be interested in is that delay start which I haven't read a whole lot about I will tell you um, that's something I think that people need to be careful with as yes well. Yes, because, you know, food safety-wise, you don't want to leave something unrefrigerated for longer than two hours. So it could help you add an extra two hours on there because we get questions all the time where people are like, we want to, like, put the stuff in and then while I'm at work, have it start. Have you seen a slow cooker that does that? And up until this point, we really didn't have, I hadn't seen one. We personally didn't own one that did that. And then I saw that this had delay start, and I'm like, oh, that's something people have been looking mm -hmm. for. Um, but you wouldn't, I don't know how long. Can you plug this in? Maybe we can see if we can get the delay start to see how long it'll go. I like the fact it's got a longer cord, too. Mm -hmm. Some of the slow cookers we have have really short cords, mm -hmm. and I like the fact that I can move it around a little bit further. So this longer cord should, and it does, it'll reach right there on that plug. Okay, so it says connect the power cord, select the cooking program, press the delay start key. Under time, you can tell it how long. Okay, so let's say we're going to slow cook on low for six hours. Oh, I like, you can turn the warmer off if you want to. That's kind of good. That way it doesn't, um, and so then you can delay. Okay. So that it doesn't what? You can delay so that it doesn't overcook your food mm. at the end. So, oh, okay. My bad. So I just hit delay start. I, I don't know if I did that right. Oh, wait. I wonder if it'll slow cook. It'll We're going to have to play with this. Yeah, it looks like it will might, like it's got set for 30 minutes, so it's going to, in 30 minutes, it'll start cooking. Okay. I wonder if you can bump that up. No, it's already started. Hmm. 
So, okay. We're going to have to play with that. But that's what it says. It says changes to delay start may not be made once the timer has started. To change the time prints, uh, press cancel and start new selections. Again, if you're using something that has uh, food, like, like you, even though it, it looks like it would let you have the delay start a lot longer, um, I would not set a delay start for over two hours mm -hmm. from a food safety standpoint. Nope. That's just something to think about. But, but let's just talk about things. Like, this would be great for Thanksgiving and Christmas where you've got a million dishes cooking and you want something done at a specific time. You could go on and prepare this and get it setting on the counter and say, okay, I want you to start in a half an hour and then go on to the next dish. This would also be good for some of those um, six hour dishes maybe that um, you need to be gone for eight hours. You could set a two hour delay. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's this has some potential. We are definitely going to play with this and let you guys know what we think. Cool. So, and you'll probably see it in a in a Cook and Chris's dishes real soon. Oh, that doesn't come off too, so it'll say right there. Caution. That's that's a feature surface. Mikey needed. You know, this is the only one I think of all the slow cookers we have where the company name is actually on the lid itself. No, Ninja has it on the lid. No, it's on the handle. Ninja's got it on the handle, mm -hmm. but actually on the glass itself. So something else I want to see, of course, we're going to hand wash this because of the way this oh, is I set up. Oh, I know what you're going to say, yeah. Um, a lot of times in the dishwasher, depending on what kind of detergent you use, or if you use like I'll a... I'll spray that off. Um, that, that shiny, yeah. the, the stuff citrus that has shine. the citrus shine, yeah, the yeah. stuff that's got the citric acid in it. A lot of times that stuff will take off the the etchings, the engravings, the, the print that has been put on the glass. So we'll see how long that lasts as well. But I have high hopes for you, my friend. Welcome. Yes. I am the gadget guy. <laughs> and we're going to get to know each other. So big thanks to Lynn from the Crock Posse for uh, giving us the heads up. It was, like I said, uh, it, was, it was meant to be. I was at Walmart when I saw it. And I was like, okay, we're going to test this out. You know, for the sake of science. Hey, hey anybody want to let Chris know while she's at Walmart about the new Xbox that came out? I, you see, I don't always get those messages. Guess what time it is? What time is it? It's time for the weekly menu. Alrighty. Time for the weekly menu. It is now time for the weekly menu, and I like to start off with Monday. <laughs> and so I'm thinking a little suggestion for some comfort food mm -hmm. this Monday, because I don't know about y'all, but we're getting it's snow. Cold. We got our first little bit of snow this morning. And there's more on the way, so I'm thinking maybe some comfort food to help us get over this drab weather we're starting to get. So Monday, how about some chicken pie, chicken pie, chicken pie pie? Because <laughs> you can't go wrong with chicken pot pie. It's yes. got all your veggies in it, plus it's got your meat, and it's in a gravy. And mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, readers love this one. So do husbands, at least this one. <laughs> Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, we're going to have the Beefy Tex-Mex Tacos. Those Tex-Mex Tacos are one of my favorite mm -hmm. recipes on the site. We eat, we do chicken and then the beefy version as well. They're just, it's just good. And it's yeah. easy, super easy mm -hmm. to throw together. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Taco Bell, but with this weather, I think I just got to make my own on Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday, of course, could be leftovers as always, or... Meat Lovers Chili. Now, I'm just going to say something. <laughs> one word bacon. Now it's got other meat in it too because well it's Do meat Do you lovers ever chili. have an episode of anything where you don't say bacon? It's mm -hmm. kind of like you know how they talk about Disney films always have that number in the background. Bacon. Your your episodes always have bacon in it. <laughs> <laughs> On Thursday how about the easy pulled pork with parsley potatoes? Yes. I hope I didn't spit when I said yes. all that. A little bit of onomatopoeia right there but uh, or no alliteration. Alliteration, alliteration, onomatopoeia, boom, bang, pow, so <laughs> boom, bang, pow, easy pulled pork with parsley potatoes, that's perfect. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> Friday, get your kids in the kitchen, and who doesn't like pizza? Nobody should raise their hand. Who doesn't like tater tots? Keep your hands down. Now put them together, who likes pizza and tater tots? 
pizza, tater tot casserole. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I I, I was too um, enthralled in what you, you were, were just saying. thinking about what's going to happen on Friday. <laughs> pizza, tater tot casserole. I That's know Aunt a, Lou's yes. kids love that very, very much. Yes. And then for breakfast sometime this week, how about some peaches and cream overnight oatmeal? That's now, yummy. There may be a pop quiz sometime in the future in these episodes. <laughs> And that pop quiz might come with the answer of what is that pop quiz might come with the question of what is Mikey's favorite fruit? Uh, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, peaches. I love <laughs> peaches. So peaches and cream overnight oatmeal. Yes. Absolutely a very, oatmeal very, very good is, dish. Like our oatmeals on the site are something that you can make on the weekend and then you can keep the leftovers if you have any. Mm -hmm. In the fridge in individual containers, and then the kiddos or the husband can reheat through the week and have a nice warm. Um, but breakfast. in our house, there's usually not that many leftovers when you put it with peaches. <laughs> a snack this week that I think would be really good is the salty, sweet, crunchy goodness. Uh huh. That's very good stuff. That is good. That was like a really surprising snack mix that, like, everybody who tried it was like, oh my gosh, this is so yummy. So it's kind of got different ingredients than mm -hmm. a usual a snack mix. Yeah, when you put salty and sweet with crunch together, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And then for dessert, because it's November now, so we got to start thinking towards the holidays and the fall and pumpkins. So how about the pumpkin pie French toast casserole? Now that's technically supposed to be breakfast. Well, not in my house. <laughs> See, the one of the you biggest have... one of the biggest uh, successes that Chris had with RTC, that's what we call recipes of crock, you know, when we're just talking around here. RTC was <laughs> the, the uh, um, cinnamon roll casserole. Mm -hmm. That's the one that kind of really blew up and got her, her name out there. And when you put that with some pumpkin, yes. you can't go wrong pumpkin. Well, that's a little bit, that one's a little bit different than the cinnamon roll casserole, mm -hmm. though. But Aunt Lou put this together. This is the one, this is the one that you had in the camper kitchen. I know. It, that's why he put it on there, because mm -hmm. he want, he wants to talk about it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I'm, if you want to have pumpkin pie French toast casserole for dessert this week, you can. And if you want to have the peaches and the cream for break, or for dessert or breakfast, however you want to do it. If y'all are going to make either one or both, call me. <laughs> I don't care when we have it. Let's just have or, some. Or, more realistically, maybe uh, send us a picture. We'd love to see it if you make anything from the menu. Or send me a bowl. <laughs> P.O. Box 350 Monroe, Vienna 46157. <laughs> well, that's our menu. And that's our show. Alrighty, well send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Bye. It's definitely on there. <laughs> okay. I'll clean that up right now. <laughs> <laughs>